Hey everybody, it's Mickey, and in today's video I have an awesome crock pot chicken and gravy recipe for you. I'm sharing some of my most recent Amazon favorites and some new spring decor. So if you are new here, I hope you'll take a minute to subscribe. I put out new videos every week about all things home. So first up this morning, I am getting dinner started in the crock pot. I'm making chicken and gravy over rice. This is one of those easy pantry meal comfort food recipes that everyone has their own variation of and everyone loves. I will be using three really large chicken breasts, two packs of the chicken gravy mix, some poultry seasoning, Mrs. Stash garlic powder, two cups of chicken broth that I made using this better than bouillon chicken base. I really think that this even has more flavor than the canned chicken broth. Some black pepper and whatever seasonings that your family likes the most and a can of cream of chicken soup. I have been browning my meat lately before I put it in the crock pot. It adds a whole layer of flavor and I even think that the finished product looks better. I've seasoned this chicken really well, you know, with the garlic powder, Mrs. Dash, poultry seasoning, some pepper, and I also added a little bit of red paprika. I'm just going to be browning this in a pan with some olive oil and butter just a few minutes per side. Once everything is all browned, I'm just going to transfer the chicken into the crock pot and then I'm just going to use a little bit of white wine to deglaze the pan. If you don't want to use wine, you can also use a little bit of chicken broth and then add that to the crock pot as well. Here I have the chicken broth, cream of chicken soup, and the two packets of chicken gravy mixed really well with a whisk and you're just going to pour this all over the top. I always like to set my crock pot on high for the first hour whenever I cook any type of meat and then I'm going to turn it down too low and I'll probably cook for an additional three hours. So Deco Crated, who sends me the quarterly subscription decor box, has just opened their membership only shop online and they have filled it with just the prettiest coordinated decor items and they sent me out a few things to share with you guys that I just love. How perfect are these metal house candle holders? They go perfectly here in my front hall, styled with some Ray Dunn, some stamped books, and lamb's ear. I am a big fan of Deco Crated. I use a lot of their pieces around the house and they are such a great company. I think that this would be such a nice gift for someone special. The spring box is still available and you can save 10% off of your order with the code MickeyShop10. I will put all the information in the description box down below along with their website so that you guys can take a look at it for yourself. They also sent me these black matte candlesticks that I have in my upstairs hallway that match perfectly with the metal house lantern, which was my favorite piece from their spring box. I've matched it up here with a Ray Dunn flower pot, some battery operated candles, and a big fluffy bow. Be sure to check out the description box down below for more information on Deco Crated, the site link, and the discount code. So I always like to share with you guys when I come across something really good online and these button down tops from Amazon are such a great find. As usual for me when I find something that I love a lot, I have to have it in all the colors. I think I bought maybe four or five of these and I may go back for a couple more. They range in price depending on which one you pick from like I think like 19 to 21 dollars and they are a nice classic fit not too tailored so that you know you still look nice and crisp but you are cool for the spring and summer so i got this really pretty blue floral print blouse that i think would look great with jeans or really cute with khaki pants this one is like a white base with black polka dots which i could even wear you know under my crew neck sweaters in the fall and winter and then this one is kind of like a mickey classic shirt i love polka dots and this is a nice navy blue with white polka dots that i could wear with my white jeans I thought these blouses were just so cute and they had so many different options to choose from. I got a size medium, which is usually what I take in blouses anyway. I don't really like anything to be too form fitting these days and a medium still gives me plenty enough room to move around. I'm gonna leave a link to these down below if you guys are in the market for button downs, I highly recommend them. 
So I am always looking for a cross body purse and I am on the short side. So sometimes it's hard for me to find one that fits my body right. They are always just a little bit too long. And I have also been looking for a Bordeaux colored bag for the fall and winter. I saw this bag advertised, I think it was on Instagram, from a company that I was not familiar with. So I thought I would look it up on Amazon, you know, because they have everything. And there it was. The thing I love the most about this bag was the bow on the front and it's a real vintage looking bag. It's made out of vegan leather so I think it was about $39 and it came in a few different colors to choose from. The inside just has like two compartments with a zipper compartment in the middle to keep things a little bit more secure and it has that brushed gold hardware so it goes really well with that vintagey look. So I really love, love, love this bag. I really love handbags anyway. And any time that I can get away with only spending $39 for one that looks this cute, it really makes me happy. So I will leave links to this bag down below in the description box as well. So we are back in the kitchen and the chicken and gravy is all done. I'm just gonna take the chicken out and shred it up a little bit, put it all back into the gravy to serve. It smells so good and it reminds me of like Sunday afternoons when I was little and my mom would make a meal like this for us. I'm serving it over some buttered rice with mixed vegetables for dinner tonight and it is just so, so good. I really do hope you guys try this recipe. If you do, leave me a comment down below and tell me how you liked it. During this quarantine, I have really started using my crock pot a lot again. I really like being able to put something in it in the morning, let it cook all day so I can get as much done around the house as I need to and still have such a great meal for the family at night. So thank you all so much for watching today. If you haven't already, I really hope that you join our communities over on Facebook and Instagram. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you all back as part of our YouTube family. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have. Be kind to each other and stay safe. And I will see you again soon. Bye.